All right, so I'm going shopping. I'm going to be getting four ripe tomatoes, English cucumber, red onion, green pepper, feta cheese, calamata olives, some red white vinegar, and some oregano leaves. And I'm going to be going over to uh, a nice place to shop called Nestor's Market, right there. And uh, they, I think they're owned by Save On Foods, but they're located right downtown at the corner of uh, Seymour and Nelson Street, so it's very convenient for people who live downtown. So I'm looking at the uh, tomatoes here. I want to get some four ripe tomatoes. They look pretty good. Probably get, I'm going to get five because I like, I like tomatoes. So I'm going to be getting a green pepper, so here we go. A nice little green pepper there. The recipe calls for a red onion, so I'm going to grab a nice looking red onion here. And we'll nice little English cucumber. Cool. That was pretty expensive. Uh, the ingredients for all the uh, dishes came out to 28.11, so reason, the reason was because I bought a whole block of uh, feta cheese, I bought a, a can of gourmet olives, a calamata olives, and I also bought uh, um, a thing of oregano, gourmet oregano, which is six dollars. So next time I make Greek salad, it's going to be a lot easier and uh, um, forward to uh, making it a bunch of times. All the vegetables are pretty cheap. All right, so here's your recipe for traditional Greek salad, basically. Four ripe tomatoes, one long English cucumber, one red onion, one green pepper, feta cheese to taste, Kalamata olives, one half cup olive oil, three to five tablespoons of red wine vinegar, one teaspoon dried oregano leaves, and salt and pepper to taste. First, we're going to cut the vegetables into slices and place them in a salad bowl. Then we add the olives, oregano, feta cheese, and olive oil, and red wine vinegar. And we mix to combine. So here we go. Got all the ingredients here. The tomatoes, cucumber, uh, this is the uh, red wine vinegar, the calamata olives. I got some actually gourmet pitted ones that are marinated with herbs. The green pepper, oregano leaves, um, red onion, and uh, the feta. So here we go. I'm going to make it. So I, I actually am holding the phone, so I can't really make it while I'm holding the phone. So you have to uh, just see the finished product. The tomatoes here. All right, so in the middle of chopping them up, that's actually quite a bit of tomatoes, but it should be good. So we've got our tomatoes all chopped up there. They look pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, get the cucumber going. So I've chopped up half the cucumber. It looks pretty good. I'm going to pop that in the bowl. So for the onion, I'm only going to use about a third of the onion because I don't want my salad to be too oniony. All right, so I'm just in the middle of chopping the onion, and uh, I only use about a third of it. And the rest of the uh, sort of the tougher bits of the onion are there. Still in the bowl, I got the cucumber and tomato. So I've coarsely chopped the onion. It looks uh, pretty nice. Next, I'm going to chop the green pepper, and I like green pepper a lot, so I'm going to use the whole thing. So I've got my vegetables all chopped up and put in the bowl, and I'm going to just mix it up a bit. Nice. So it's, I think I might have chopped things a bit too fine, but that's kind of how I like it. Um, traditional Greek salad will have bigger chunks of things, I think, normally, but uh, anyways, here we go. All right, so I've added my olives and my oregano, and I've also got the feta cheese ready to go in, so I'll pop that in right now. Next, I'm going to add half a cup of olive oil and three to five tablespoons of red wine vinegar. The recipe says to add just salt and pepper to taste, so I'm just going to add a bit of salt and pepper. We'll just mix it up now, and we'll be good to go. So here we go. Final mixing. All the ingredients distributing nicely throughout the, the salad.